Do you all know whenever I cover headphones on my channel, they're always geared towards gaming, even though I test them across multiple other things, whether that be editing videos, listening to tons of music or what, you know, but the core experience we focus on headphones is for gaming. And the pair of headphones we're gonna talk about today, holy smokes, it is phenomenal for gaming. And that is the Hi-Fi Man Sundara closed back version. We recently covered the open back version and they were absolutely phenomenal as well. But these blow those away. These are even so much better than those even though again, they were good. So let's start this off with the look over of the headphone first here. As you see, it connects by 3.5. You get your adapter for it as well. Cables connect right on the bottom right down there. And as you see, you have the natural wood right on the side. It's absolutely a premium look. Me personally, I wish it was like a dark or black, whatever, heck, maybe you can paint it, but it looks really premium like that. You got metal hinges going into here, up into metal headband. You got your leather uh, resting headband right there. So again, your head just uh, rests down on it and it's nice and wide. So again, it's not pinching in one spot or anything. It's just right there. Now taking a look at the ear pads, hopefully you guys can catch this. Let me spin this around. You see how the ear pads are angled a little bit forward, just like we saw in the uh, Sundara clothes. They change these around. They used to be straight flat, so you get those pressure points. Now that they're angled forward, they rest right on your head perfectly cozy right there. And they are breathable mesh on the top. You got the pleather inside with the perforated holes, pleather on the outside. So again, it's locking in that sound, but not holding in too much heat. Very, very comfortable. And you see these ear pads are incredibly plush. Now, again, if you use the uh, Sundara closed or the open, the newer ones, again, same ear pads right here. Very, very cozy. So with just that brief look over of the Sundara closed, you can tell it's got a premium style, a premium build, but a couple things might be questioning your mind. Number one, again, that lack of swivel right there is a stinker. But like I showed you with those ear pads angling in right there, when you slap them on your head, they just flow perfect. Now, of course, this is different person to person, right? We got different head shapes. I'm a swivel lover. I need swivel in my headsets. With the ear pads angled like that, I'm not getting any more pressure points on the front, the back, the sides or anything. Absolutely stinking cozy. And I can wear these for very long sessions. Now looking at a few numbers right here, whenever we throw the headphone on the scale without the cable, of course, we are getting 382 grams. And again, you got a lot of metal on this. It feels very premium. Now also measuring our ear pads here, so as you can see, they're pretty much a perfect circle going right around there, plenty big. Again, that depth on the front is a little more shallow than on the back right there, but my ears never ever touch the drivers in there. And it's also slightly padded if you did, but I, I really don't think you're gonna have that issue. And also with the adjustment over here on our hinges, as you can see, I got a tug on it pretty good. I mean, it holds this position really nice and tight, not gonna budge out on you. You got all that movement. And as you see, you have the little notches right down there, which kind of grabs onto and it stays there very firm. So wrapping all that up right there, the style, the build, the comfort, absolute win, stinking cozy, fantastic build and just a very premium style and in your hand, you just feel like you have a very high quality product. But now for a real shining point, as crazy as that is to say, because everything we just talked about was absolutely phenomenal, but the sound of the Hi-Fi Man Sundar closed back headphones here, packing, a frequency range of six to 50,000, an impedance of 20 ohms. Now, let me start it off right here. Okay, so you're catching that range. That range is massive, and we're gonna talk a lot about that. But number one, being 20 ohms, I kind of thought, all right, I'm gonna be able to drive these pretty good across every platform, run 3.5. Let me plug it into my Xbox. Let me plug it into my PS5. And I just didn't get what I expected out of it, going straight into a controller just like that or right into my PC. So just keeping that in mind, even though it's a lower uh, lower impedance right there, I didn't feel like it pushed as much as I wanted. So then going over to PC, when I plugged it into my iFi uh, Zen, the Zen Amp and DAC stack right there, wow, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to put into words. Just absolutely, wow, that range came to life. You had that back end bass right there, not thumpy, not rumbly. You had that planar magnetic bass. It's that crisp hit, right? You all know me talking about planar magnetics. First thing that comes to mind, odd easy, right? You got Penrose, you got LCDs, all the other ones we've covered. You had that right here. You had that crisp bass. You had those detailed highs. It's not screech or anything. Every bit of the highs are broken up with that bass still performing back here. 
it, it's, I stated it before in all of my Odd Easy reviews, right? I'm an Odd Easy fanboy left and right. I'll admit it. They are so good. But again, I got that right here. The sound is, I could sit here and talk about how everything's separated and you're getting everything. But once you experience it and you put it on and you're like, wow, it's the comments I get all the time with the pen rows, you know what I mean? And that's what you got with this. It was so crisp. It was so detailed. And in gaming, it was immersive. And that's awesome to be able to get all of that into one pair of headphones, playing Halo, Call of Duty, Destiny, anything like that. And getting all of that in one package where you got that crisp detail, you got that immersion and everything. And I'm not talking just like it's basic. I'm talking it's punched up here. It is in your face. It is just that wow factor. You get that here. Now, now maybe a better way to explain this again, I'll pull out my Audi Z LCD 2s, right? You all know I love these. I've been maining these for so long. Absolutely fantastic pair of headphones. And Audeezy, cutting to the chase, Audeezy does planar magnetics the best. There's no question about it. And I was kind of like, all right, so I enjoy the Sundara Opens. What, what am I going to get with the closed right here? You know what I mean? And no joke, I'm almost online with my Audeezy LCD2s right here. Not there. It's not there. I'm not saying that. Now we're talking half price here, right? Talking 400 over here. These guys are up around 800, if not a little bit more. So you're talking half the price, but you're not getting half the sound. It's kind of what you'd expect, right? Okay, well, they cost a whole lot less, you know, I'm not going to get that full sound out of it. But no, 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 you do. Now, again, Audeezy is probably up here. I'd put these Sundaras maybe like right here. That's not bad. I'm talking they're very close. And I was shocked at that 400 price range. Because again, that planar magnetic base and detail is something I've really only experienced to that really full true wow factor with Audeezy. But I got it over here. I got it over here. And that really, it just blew my mind. I had to keep testing different games and different scenarios and being like, this, this just can't be happening right here. This can't be happening. That's what's going through my mind. It was just such an awesome headphone across every single game. But I can't sit here and deny it. Yes, $400 is still a lot of money for a pair of headphones, you know? But what I want you to think about is, again, I think when people think of headphones, especially in the gaming space, they go right towards Bear Dynamic because Ninja and all the hype around it. You know, it's like you're missing out if that's your only path on headphones for gaming. You're really missing out. Because something like this is like 10 times better than some of those Bayer Dynamics that have all the hype, you know what I mean? And talking about $400, don't look at this as a gaming pair of headphones, which is 99% of the time where I used it. But again, if you're doing videos or watching movies or listening to music, whatever kind of genre, it's going to open up experience. You're going to listen to all your albums over again. You're going to replay games, you know what I mean? It's that good. It's not just this one class headphone. You're going to be able to utilize this in a lot of different spaces. Again, the biggest thing I, I want to make clear is make sure you have something decent to drive this. You don't need anything massive, nothing crazy, you know what I mean? But something to drive it and that's where you're going to get that full experience out of it. And if you have that, if you're willing to invest in that, wow, you, you are going to be back into the comments thanking me later.